As a global power, it is their responsibility to ensure stability across the world. If this situation in Syria destabilizes, then this would become a hotbed for all the terrorists all over the world to gain foothold. If there are chemical weapons involved, this is a very damaging thing, especially for the environment for a very long time. How can we trust the global powers? No chemical weapons were ever found in Iraq despite over 10 years of war. When the global powers get involved in localized conflicts, it brings further destabilization, making the situation worse as we have seen in Iraq and Libya. The agenda of the global powers is not in alignment with the interests of the Syrian people. How could you sit back and watch in your ivory towers as you watch the rest of the world crumble? It's better to be safe than sorry with the chemical weapons. Also, the UN want to establish a good relationship with Syria. This would just be that, where they can establish a good political dialogue and a mutual trade. Why are relationships with the Middle East always built on the foundation of war? Surely the global powers have more to offer the world in terms of real economic and political solutions rather than just bigger non-chemical weapons. We don't use the currency and we're not part of the continent. The trade benefits of being in the EU would still exist due to the economic strength of the UK. We bring more to the partnership than we take away. It makes sense to leave. Segregation is not a good look, especially in the interest of communication and trade. The UK has been a backbone for the EU. And what if this leaving the EU has a knock-on effect with all the other countries? We will leave the EU in a very detrimental place. The communication and cooperation would be there as it was before. We just wouldn't have the burden and economic liability of carrying weaker nations. B besides, we wouldn't be subservient to European laws. Sharing, the benefits of sharing resources will always outweigh the negatives of sharing. Also, the UK is a power and as a power, it has the responsibility to help thy neighbour. As a nation, Pakistan has just recently pulled itself out of a virtual dictatorship into this young democracy. If people didn't believe that they will better their lives in partaking in this election, they wouldn't. The faith of the people is misplaced. Pakistan is a borderline failed state that relies on outside powers for stability. Real change depends on people taking responsibility for building their own future. A country cannot just exist on outside influences. Its internal infrastructure is a solid one. People are taking responsibilities. Democracy is the best way they could go about it, where their opinions turn into actions that take place in the nation. Democracy can work, but until you address the underlying problems of corruption, bribery, caste and religious discrimination, democracy alone will never make the lives of the people better.